evening, William Paca School family. This is Tammy Bosley, principal of William Paca Old Post Road Elementary School. I'm just going to wait until about 6.03 um, just to give everybody an opportunity to be sure that they're logged on and ready to start for the evening. Um, so just enjoy a little bit of music and we'll come back together at 6.03 to start our formal evening together. Look for the good in everything. Look for the people who will set your soul free. It always seems impossible until it's done. Look for the good in everyone. about 51 attendees and I actually think it's more than that than what's showing on my screen at home this evening. Um, but I want to welcome you to our virtual back to school night. This is certainly different than anything we've ever done before and in um, 12 years of being a principal, I don't think I've ever been so nervous for a back to school night. Being in person is much easier than being virtual, um, but we appreciate everybody joining us this evening for the presentation and um, I do want to make sure that you know that this is going to be recorded. It's being recorded as I speak. So for anyone who was not able to join either the whole group session that we're in right now for back to school night or the breakout sessions that you attend for specific grade levels, all of those will be recorded, which is nice because you will be able to go back and reference those as many times as you've liked to. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. And I'm just going to wait for one of my co-presenters to let me know that the right screen is up from our PowerPoint. It is. 
it is okay all right it's up there OK, guys, the links. Um, this is the back to school night slide that I'm sure many of you saw all over um, social media and our school website. And then um, you should have received emails from your classroom teachers with this information. Um, so you're going to see how our night is structured um, from 6 to about 630. We have our whole group portion um, for our back to school night. And um, we're just going to hear a few things from myself, Tammy Bosley. Um, we have our Title I teacher specialist, Mrs. Brittany Godfrey. She is going to be sharing some Title I information um, and overview for everyone. And then we have some PTA updates about membership from our newly elected president, Mrs. Rebecca Miller. Just to reiterate a few things at the bottom of this slide, the back to school night breakout sessions, grade level breakout sessions do begin at 645. We wanted to give you a little bit of a break between 630 and 645 if you need it to grab a snack or use the restroom and then come back to join us for the specific grade level. We do understand that many of our parents have more than one child that attends William Peca. And that's OK because you can choose to go to um, whichever grade presentation you would like to go to. And as I stated before, the other ones will be recorded, so you'll be able to go back and watch whatever grade levels you weren't able to attend. Or if you have several adults in your building, in your home, you can kind of divide and conquer and go to um, separate grade levels, whatever works best for you. Right. I did want to go over the um, there is a Q&A option on the side of the screen. You'll see that it says Q&A where you can submit questions along the way. Um, our other administrators that I'm going to introduce in just a few moments are going to try to monitor the question and answer through our whole group session and provide you with answers um, as you go. There may be some time that we um, share some questions at the end with the entire group. We'll just kind of see how the evening goes. If there is ever a time that we're not able to answer your question during this session, please know that when we record our videos, we also go back and review all of the questions. We put them on a chart. We put the questions on one side and we put the answers on the other side. And we also send that out on our school website and our social media sites so that um, if we don't get to all of the questions strictly because of time limits or if we don't know the answer to your question, we can follow up and make sure that we get that out to you after the presentations. That's the same for our family engagement events as well. So wanted to take a moment. You should be able to see at the bottom of our screen, everyone who's presenting in the whole group session from William Peca has their picture up. So you should be able to see them if they want to give a little wave as I introduce them. As I said, I'm Tammy Bosley and I'm your proud principal at William Peca Old Post Road Elementary School. Um, this evening we have Mrs. Katie Scharf joining us. She is the Old Post Road assistant principal. She's stationed in that building. Mr. Ronald Stump is with us this evening. He is the assistant principal that is at the William Peca building, our intermediate building. And new to us this year, we're very happy to welcome Mrs. Mary Ann Clinton. She is an assistant principal joining us from Riverside Elementary School. And Mrs. Clinton, we have with us part time this year. She is an assistant principal at our school um, for part of the week and at Norrisville Elementary for part of the week. And Ms. Clinton will be working in both the Old Post Road and the William Peca building in that role. Uh, in addition, I did want to include Mrs. Brittany Godfrey on here because she has a large part of the presentation this evening. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Brittany Godfrey is also joining us new this school year, and she is also from Riverside Elementary School. Um, she is our new Title I teacher specialist at William Peca. So welcome to all of our administrators and Mrs. Godfrey. I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Scharf so she can introduce to you our staff. Please feel free to use that Q&A as we're going through and write whatever comments you'd like as we're naming out the teachers. Um, I know a lot of people like to give kudos and praise to our fabulous staff, so please feel free to do that. Mrs. Scharf. 
Hi, everybody. We're so glad you're with us this evening. I'm going to go ahead and start with our pre-K team. We have Miss Giambaluca, who is a pre-K teacher with Mrs. Bartlett as her paraeducator. We have Mrs. Budke, who is a pre-K teacher, and Miss Bogroski, who is her pre-K paraeducator. Miss Diamond is the pre-K teacher, and Miss Pantazelos is the pre-K para. Mrs. Morris is a teacher, and Mrs. Johnson is her pre-K para. And Mrs. Butterfield is a pre-K teacher, and Mrs. Abby is her pre-K para. Kindergarten. We have some additions to our team. Miss Scranton, Miss Clayton, Miss Harris is new to the team this year. We're excited to welcome her. Mrs. Comer, as many of you know, Mrs. Livesey has moved from first grade to kindergarten. Mrs. Thompson, who is, re is returning to kindergarten, and Mrs. Roan, who is new to our kindergarten team this year. First grade, we have some new members of our first grade team. We have Mrs. Vitek, who has been a member of our PECA family for a very long time. Mrs. Carrie Johnson, Mrs. Thomas, Mrs. Walker slash Lawrence. We just have to refer back to her that way because um, she was married last year. Mrs. Potter. Mrs. Marsteiner is our new member of our first grade team. We're so excited that she's joined us. And then Miss Megan Johnson is the seventh member of that team. Moving on to second grade, we have Mrs. Rodriguez, who is currently with her little baby girl. So Mr. Schloud is her long-term substitute at the moment. Miss Charla Moore is returning with us. Mrs. Adams, who taught first grade and was a resource teacher, is now a part of the second grade team. Mrs. Howell, Mrs. O'Leary, Miss Denning is new to our second grade team this year. And again, we are so excited that she has joined our family. And returning is Miss Hirschfeld. Mr. Stump's going to take over. Thank you, Mrs. Scharf, and introduce our William Pinka staff. Good evening, everybody. It's Mr. Stump coming at you here. A lot of times you're going to hear me on the uh, robo calls with the good old, hey, William Pick Old Post Road friends and families. It's Mr. Stump coming. So now you can put a face to a name. <laughs> hey, third grade rocks. So let's talk about our third grade teachers. We have Miss Kuhn, who was coming to us new to our third grade team this year. We also have Miss France. And then we have the three M's. We're talking about Miss Mayor, Miss Mulligan, and Mrs. McLean. They were a real tough team. And of course, we are wild about fourth grade. In fourth grade, we got Mrs. Russell, and she just uh, got married not too long ago. It was Miss Baker. Uh, we have Mrs. Dayton. We have Mrs. Gall, who was with us. She came to fourth grade from uh, fifth grade. We have Miss Shiflet. Shiflet, she came from third grade to join our wild about fourth grade team this year. We have Miss Slattery. And we also have Mrs. Miller. Mrs. Miller came from another position as well, and she's back in the classroom and is wild about fourth grade. So we're glad to have them with us. Then we're moving right along to fifth grade is a blast, everyone, a pure blast. We have Mrs. Paula Celli who's coming to us. We have Mrs. Mascari, Miss Reynolds, who was fourth grade, is now with us in fifth grade. We have Miss Largis. She's back with us as her second year and Miss Morecambe holding down the fort for fifth grade. So we have a fantastic team over in William Peca. So glad to have each and every one of them. You're gonna love them and we're glad to have you. Okay, Miss Clinton, it's never easy to follow Mr. Stump when there's announcements to be made. So do your best. Miss Clinton's going to introduce <laughs> our special area team and our special education team. All right, very good. Welcome penguin families. It's so nice to be here with you this evening. I've been able to meet a couple of little penguins at our learning center, but I'm looking forward to meeting all the rest of you as soon as possible. Um, so in our phys ed department, we have Ms. McKeon, Mr. Scruggs, Mr. Kessler, and Mr. Congan. In library, we have Mrs. Amato, Ms. Schubert, and Ms. Dunmore is our media tech. In art, we have Mrs. Wright and Ms. Bowser. And in music, 
we have Mr. Jefferson, Ms. Cooper, Mrs. Ritchie, and Mr. Kelly. Our special ed department is wonderful. We've been in lots of meetings with them here this summer and filling that department, we have Ms. Kennedy, Ms. Ports, and Ms. Izzard. We have Ms. Mullins, Mr. Phillips, Ms. Williams, Ms. Kurachek, Ms. Brooks, Ms. Holly, Ms. Mincy. We also have Mrs. Costelli, Mrs. Downs, Mrs. Lloyd, Mrs. Kugel, Mrs. Osgood. Finishing out that team, we have Ms. Buchanan, Ms. Anawek, Ms. Buzdick, Ms. Lentz, Ms. Marmaris, Ms. Davis, Ms. Shaw, and Mr. Alleman. Thank you, Ms. I, I tried, Mrs. Bosley. <laughs> you did. You did a fabulous job. Uh, before we move on to that next slide, guys, I do want to say um, we are extremely proud of the staff that we have at William Paco Old Post Elementary School. And as I stated at our first family engagement event um, that we had this year, we've had two so far. So I'm going to keep saying that because I really want you to join us for our family engagement events. I think they're very informative and um, a lot of good information that you can gain from joining in just for those half an hour blocks with us. Um, about twice a month is how we have them scheduled. But I do want to reiterate that our staff is um, is working extremely hard. Um, I hope that you have seen evidence of that this first week of school and into our second week. Um, we have put a lot of time and effort in um, over the summer to prepare as well as we possibly could to make this a successful year um, for not only our students who are always most important, but also successful for our families. Um, we, we have not perfected anything and I'll tell you we probably won't reach perfection. Um, perfection is, is not the goal. Um, improvement is always the goal. So we are listening. We are here. Um, we want your input and um, you will see evidence of things that we are tweaking along the way based on the input that we're receiving from you. So please don't ever feel as though you're overstepping or that you should not share some of the ideas that you have. You are always welcome to email me directly, um, go through your teachers or any other administrator, and we will really try and respond um, to your suggestions and make things better as we go. And um, we started with that song with the purpose of we really are looking at this year as um, as a continued learning curve, obviously that started back on March 13th, um, but we're up for the challenge. Um, I feel confident that our staff is up to the challenge and um, number one reason being is um, their hearts are with your children and um, working as hard as they possibly can to do what's best for them. So um, kind of looking into this year of look for the good in everyone um, and everything that we do. So um, that glass is half full um, mentality is is how I'm looking at this year. So I want to um, give a formal thank you to all of our staff um, and my administrative team for the hard work that they have put in, continue to put in, and will put in um, for the duration of this year. I do want to, um, I put this slide in here because I did not want to forget. Um, this is really important for our fourth and fifth grade students. Um, our fourth and fifth grade students that were issued their, um, their devices at the beginning of the year, um, you're doing a fabulous job, first of all. Um, I know there's been some glitches with some of the devices, um, but our departments are working very hard along with HCPS to iron out any of those kinks. Um, and and we're, we're, we're on the right track. Uh, I do want to remind you that um, beginning this week, we really are starting to look at this virtual attendance regularly. Um, our teachers are sending out reminders to students. This is new um, and it's it's easy to forget. So I just wanted to put that visual up there for all of our parents. Just as a reminder, if you have a fourth or fifth grade child at our school, if you could just remind them that it's really important that they go in and mark themselves as being present for instruction for that day. Um, if you are not a fourth or fifth grade student, eventually you will see this same icon when our Chromebooks um, are delivered mid-October, which is still the projected date. 
and those are distributed to our younger students in kindergarten through third grade. You'll follow this same process and we'll be sure to give you directions and go over that again with you in detail. Um, but just a reminder, our fourth and fifth grade students, please remember to check your attendance daily. I'm going to turn um, the presentation over at this point to Mrs. Brittany Godfrey that I introduced earlier. She is our Title I teacher specialist for our school and she's going to go over some important information because William Paca Old Post Road is a Title I school. Thank you, Ms. Godfrey. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I just want to start off by thanking you for joining us. Um, we want to know that we want you to know that we appreciate you being here because it shows your dedication to your child's learning just by tuning in with us this evening. Um, this hasn't been the easiest learning experience for anyone, but I want you to know that our teachers, our staff, and most importantly, our students are making strides every day. So I'm going to start with the next slide where it states, what does it mean to be Title I? Sometimes we have a lot of questions around that. And this just gives a brief description, um, although there are many characteristics that describe a Title I school, this is just one of them. We do receive additional financial assistance from the state and local agencies to support our students. This um, additional support helps all students in our building. We are dedicated to helping all students ensure that they're successful and they meet the state standards that are put in place. Um, we want to use that extra funding to increase our staffing, to increase the resources that, we'll able, that we're able to put into the building for the students. Um, and that also has a lot of parent and school communication pieces to it as well, which we're going to go over in just a moment. Um, that does take us to our next slide, which is how parents can be engaged with the Title I school. So this first one on the left, collaborating with the community, just building partnerships, staying involved with the school community is an easy way to do that. Um, moving down to the volunteering piece, I realize that looks super different right now, but that if we get creative, we can definitely find some ways to have parents involved with the classroom still, even though we're virtually right now. Um, the next box, helping our school make decisions. Um, and later this evening, you'll hear from our PTA. That's part of that bubble. We have parents on our spa team. That's part of that component as well. Moving into the communication piece again, that will come later in the presentation, but obviously school parent communication is one of our top priorities alongside student achievement. So that's um, a really important one for us. The student learning, helping your student learn, especially right now while they're in your home learning every day from teachers online. Um, and then kind of right along with that is your parenting style. So how can you be consistent with setting up a schedule for that for your, for your student before and after school? Um, keeping a structured routine for them, helping to the, helping them to achieve all the state standards they need to. Um, some examples of this parent engagement follow right on the next slide when we were talking about our family engagement events. We've had two very successful events already this year. We had one in August and one just last week. As you can see, we have six more for the, throughout the school year for virtual learning at least. Um, I'm sure we'll be planning more. But I wanted to point out that the next one is next Wednesday, September 23rd. And as you can see, it's listed as to be determined. We have left that as a to be determined because we are seeking out parent input of what you need most at home for your student. What are topics that we can talk about that are truly going to help your family succeed in this virtual learning environment? Which leads me to the next slide where we have our parent input survey. So if you have a smartphone handy, go ahead and snap a picture of that QR code. This is just a short survey. It's four questions. Two of them are multiple choice, so you can't go wrong. Um, I'm guessing about 20 seconds. It should take you to complete. It's completely anonymous, but we will be taking that insight and using it directly for our next parent and engagement event. We want to know what strategies you're in need of. What does your student need? How can we help you be more successful? So we're looking for those types of input so that we can directly help you. If you can't use that QR code, which I'm sure you can, the website is right underneath for um, maybe later time. Moving on to our school media and parent communication, we have a bunch of different platforms that we use to communicate with our parents, which is a component of Title I. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with our Facebook page. We also have an Instagram and a Twitter, which um, pushes out the same content, but just on different platforms, whatever you prefer. 
Um, over on the top right is a little picture of the top of our school website, followed by the link. So if you need to visit that, it has lots of resources, lots of useful information for you and your student. And then lastly, on this side, we have our Remind app. This is also where we push out a lot of content to parents and families. Um, if you are not already registered with this, you may do so by opening up a text message, texting 81010 as the phone number, and then using that at WPOPREL-EM as the text message, that will take you directly to the Remind app and instructions for downloading and signing up for our school. One of the things that you will see on our social media platforms very soon is our Penguin Pride Spirit Week. Since we are virtual, we wanted to find a way to engage our penguins at home. So we've set up a Spirit Week so in the past, it's been a spirit day, and now we'll be conducting on a spirit week to give everyone a chance to participate. So if your child chooses to participate on Monday or Thursday or Friday, it doesn't matter because they got to participate at least a little. So next week, starting Monday the 21st, all the way through the 25th, it will be a Penguin Pride Spirit Week. So any school colors, any Penguin Pride you have, make sure your students are displaying that. And then we invite you to also snap some photos of them and send them into us. You can do that through the Facebook Messenger, through Instagram DMs, or through an email to your child's teacher. You can text them to me through the Remind app, any way that you're comfortable with so we can get them and then post them to show our school pride. Um, let's see. Lastly, one little thing for you. Um, we have our family engagement plan and our homeschool compact available to you on our school website. As you can see, the, here's two more QR codes where they are also available. Um, the one on the left is our family engagement plan. As a school, how we're planning to engage our families, our family engagement events that we've been setting up and we've already had and will continue to hold throughout the school year are listed there. And then on the right is our homeschool compact. So that goes through our school climate and communication with parents. Um, student academics and student attendance, which does look a little different this year, so you might want to take a look. Um, I believe that's everything for me. So again, thank you for joining us and I will now pass it to the PTA. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Godfrey. To introduce our PTA and I'm going to I'm going to pause after I introduce them because I'm not sure that they were able to log in um, as producers on this call or not. And, and if they weren't, um, our PTA president is um, our new president this year. Um, replacing um, Megan Fitzgerald, who did a fabulous job as our PTA president. We have another fabulous PTA president, Mrs. Rebecca Miller, who um, is joining us this school year in this role. Our PTA secretary is Jamie Smith. And then we have an interim, tre interim treasurer for the PTA, Laura Pinkratz. Mrs. Miller, were you are you on here to join us? OK, I'm going to keep rolling because I know exactly um, what the PTA wanted to present to you. So I am um, going to show you this is um, is something that they are um, seeking actively is if we have any interest in any of our families, um, parents and our families that have an interest in being the PTA treasurer. Um, we are very interested in hearing from you, so you're going to see an email at the bottom that you can um, write right to Mrs. Miller, the president, and let her know if you have an interest in serving in this role for our school. We would be most appreciative. Um, feel free to nominate a friend. Um, that's how I've end up, ended up in some roles. And then we can reach out to them and see if they would accept the nomination. Um, but anyone or if yourself, you, you feel like you would serve in this role, that would be wonderful. So please let us know. The first PTA meeting, um, everyone, is going to be held on September the 21st. Um, that's going to be at 7 p.m. And the PTA is going to be sending out a Zoom link. So this will be different than the typical calls that you have been on um, through Microsoft Teams. A lot of people are already familiar with Zoom, um, so you can do that from your phone. You can do that from a tablet, pretty much anything. You can go right into a Zoom meeting. So please be on the lookout. Um, we'll have that. The PTA will have that posted on their social media sites and we'll also post that on our websites so that you'll be able to join us for that first PTA meeting of this school year. 
um, and all are welcome to attend. The last thing that we def definitely wanted to cover is um, there are opportunities to join the PTA um, this school year. The cost is $8.78, and um, in here is just the link um, to, it's at the member hub store. Um, that's the platform that they're using to collect the uh, membership fees. So again, this will be posted at the end of our presentation and we'll provide some of these links um, so that you won't have to go back through the presentations to find them. But that's the cost for becoming a member of the William Pago Old Post Road Elementary School PTA. So our, our parents, our teachers are all invited to become members this school year. Um, as you know, all of the money that is raised through the PTA goes directly back to our students um, in whatever form that, that our community decides would be the best um, use of those funds. A lot of times they are used for um, to support field trips um, and different performances that we bring into our students into the school. Um, so that's just a few of what we do. All right, I am one minute over, which, you know, for those of you who know me in the William Pick Old Post Road School community, know that that's not a surprise at all because I typically always go over my time limit. Um, but I did want to end this session um, of us together it, just by saying that, you know, this this slide kind of says it, it says it all. Um, we are in this together. Um, we are in this together, whether we are in brick and mortar in the school building or whether we are working together virtually. So um, please use your resources. Please know that everyone at our school is a resource for you um, and we are here to support each other through these um, difficult times and, and very different times for all of us. So I hope that um, you enjoy your presentations with um, your particular uh, grade levels that you move to at 645. Um, there will be a Q&A for that portion as well, so please be sure that you record any questions that you have. Before I close out, um, I'm going to ask my co-presenters, are there any questions that we need to address as a whole group before we end our live meeting? No, Mrs. Bosley, we're good. Okay. All right. So appreciate you joining us all this evening. Um, have a wonderful time at the breakout sessions and we will see you at our next PTA meeting, which will be virtually. And we will also see you at our next family engagement meeting. All right. Have a wonderful night, everybody.